how y'all doing? It's old Jut here again. So today, I want to tell you a story about Luke chapter 2. It's the story of Jesus' birth and him growing up and a little bit. And uh, I'm going to tell it to you in a Christmassy way called it's Christmas. All right, here we go. T'was the day before Christmas and all through Bethlehem. They was all kind of folks stirring because that census that wasn't nothing but mayhem. Their sandals was hung because they smelt like yarn. You know, because back then they didn't, they didn't have those little blue plastic bags where they put the throw it away. But then, anyway, it don't matter. Their sandals was hung because they smelt like yarn. And lo and behold, Jesus was about to be born. The goats and the cows was all nestled in the hay with hopes that animal sacrifices would soon go away. With Mary in contractions and Joseph's head in his hands, they was getting ready cause the crap was about to hit the fan. When all of a sudden, the shepherds was out in the field and they thought they was in danger cause this angel had come to them and said, the Messiah, he was just born in a manger. So they flew off to Bethlehem and without even napping cause they wanted to get uh, to town to see what had happened. When they got to the manger, they seen Jesus, Joseph, and Mary, and they knew that angel was real, so they went and told every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Now, after eight days, uh, it was time for Jesus' circumcision. So, by the law of Moses, they went and they uh, sacrificed uh, two turtle, turtle doves and a couple pigeons. Now, while they was at the temple, there was this feller named Simeon, and he took Jesus and he was prophesying and a praying, and Joseph and Mary was like, this dude's amazing. <laughs> and there was also this old withered prophetess named Anna. And she stayed in the temple all night and all day. And she was saying all kind of cool stuff about Jesus too. And Mary and Joseph was like, it's, it's cray cray. Now, after all that, they went back to Nazareth. Because uh, that's where they lived. And old Jesus, he grew up strong and full of wisdom. He, he was a pretty good kid. Except for this one time when Jesus was 12 and they had went back to Jerusalem to, to uh, uh, celebrate the Passover festival. See what I did there? Yeah. Well, he had slipped off and they lost him for like three days. And I tell you what, when his mom found him, I bet she was ready to whoop him in all kind of ways. But she didn't whoop him and she didn't say nothing. She was just quiet as a mouse because Jesus was like, didn't you know that it was necessary for me to be in my father's house? Well, that's all for Luke chapter 2, and I hope it was soothing. So for now, I just leave you with Merry Christmas to all, and to all, y'all have a good one.